Well, today we are going to do some Halloween prep. I am going to cast my little head. I've got three different sizes of Skeletor heads that we are going to do today. So with these, let's put these over here so they're out of the way. We are going to do a test today to see how we can cast them because, well, I can only find one package of these and those others, there isn't really a Halloween prep area around this place that we can actually get anything. So I'm a little hot. I've got all the lights in the house in here trying to brighten this area up so you can see it. So first what we're going to do is I got floral foam. Uh, what I wanted to do with the floral foam is it's very, very soft and impressions of what you are working towards inside. So what I did is I took the Halloween Skeletor and I put them in and pressed and you just need to wobble a little bit because you want to get the top of the head and you end up with skeleton impressions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up, I've made four right here. I did forget I want to be able to vibrate these to get the oxygen out. So simply what I'm going to do is set them on my cookie sheet when they're ready and I'll put them in that and then I'll hit the cookie sheet to vibrate the air bubbles out. So because I'm doing such a small amount, I am going to measure it out. I'm thinking two, maybe three tablespoons will be enough of the Portland, or not Portland, but you know, of the plaster. So let me get a knife, stab. I'm just going to use a spoon or a fork, I mean, to mix it up. But I am going to measure this. There's one. So I'm going to do three, and then I am going to do two tablespoons of water. Mix that up first. I can always add more water, but it's really hard to start adding more plaster. So I'm trying to get the bubbles out. So now all we have to do is wait and let it steep and harden and then we'll figure out how to take it out. So here we go. Another Halloween experiment. Hopefully it will work. We will check back in in, oh, I don't know, an hour, maybe two. So until we check back, remember, we love you all. Happy Halloween. Hi, <laughs> right, see you later. Hey, so I got to thinking. Um, these have been in for now about 10 minutes 
and they're starting to get hard. I think they might be too hard. But I was thinking it might be easier if I put a little handle on them. So here's some ties, garbage bag ties. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try. So I'm going to just uh, see if I can stick it in one of them. But I think it's too late. Too late. They're hard. They are they are hard. Um, I'm tempted to uh, see if I can get these out. Should I try? I mean, I got two, and this is an experiment. Um, so if I push it down, see, if I push. It down. Yes, I'm Oh, cool! It is so, 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 so cool. There we go. And this stuff really, once it dries, it'll come right out with no problem. I can make it nice and clean. And one more. And this was some really old floral foam that I had. Um, I've kept it for probably about 10 years, knowing that one day I'd use it, and the day has come. Here we go. I went from having this one to having all of those. What do you think? Okay, so the experiment worked. So now we're going to do the others. I have taken some other floor foam. This is new, so hopefully it'll work just as good as the old stuff because the old stuff was over 10 years old. And we're going to make the little ones in these by no maybe if I got them wet Clue, do not get floral, if you want true suck up water floral foam, do not get it at Home Depot because that is not the true, this is for, um, this would be for um, fake flowers, not real flowers. And there's nothing on there, I don't think, that said, it says for silk and natural, which means it would, it would soak up water, but it doesn't. So... I have to wait until Monday to go to my local hobby store to get real floral farm foam. But I might just mess around with some ideas of a caulking polymer type of uh, mold. Um, I may be able to do that for the small ones. I don't think I'd be able to do that for the big ones, but we'll see. 
So, but this is what came out of the true floral form. Beginning, end, beginning, end, beginning, end, beginning, end, beginning, end, beginning, end. Dancing skeleton heads, they're coming your way today. Yeah, because Halloween is new. Okay, so we're getting down to the wire on these little buggers. They have gotten even harder. So now I'm gonna clean them up a little bit more. I'm just using a normal little paintbrush. I've got a billion of them around here. And see if we can get some of this off. This one. It's coming, it's coming. Might have to wait a little bit longer on that one. So. Here I gotta cut all this off, right here. Or I might use it as extra gluing, who knows? Who knows what I'll do? But you just... And these are just gonna look, you know, even though that they're grainy, if you look at that one, that is very grainy. Um, there you go. When I paint him, what I'm going to do first is uh, paint with black and get black in all that little grainy area. And then I'll come back in with a lighter color and get the high spots. So... It will look old and decrepit and like it's been out there forever. Kind of like the angel. I have a, a um, plaster angel that's been sitting in my garden now for, I don't know, probably about four years. And <laughs> the rain has slowly eaten her away to where her um, wings have literally just just um melted away <laughs> so she's a wingless uh angel but that's okay and she's in my front garden so she'll mix right in with our great halloween display there's that now i'm going to after i'm done with this see if i can find some silicone caulk if i can find some silicone caulk and I have oil and I think I have some cornstarch. If I can find all that, I will make molds of those with that. Seeing how I picked up the wrong um, floral foam. So anyway, coming out a little bit more. It's still as I get down towards the plaster itself, I can feel that it's still a little wet, so. And I don't want to lose any detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry some more. And now I'm on my way outside to see if I can find some silicone caulking. And if I can, then we're gonna have more fun. Hey, I sure hope you enjoyed our video. And if you have, please push the like button down below. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time we put up a new video, you'll know that we've got one up. Or share it. Well, actually, why don't you do all? Push the like button, subscribe, and share. Let us know you care. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. Anyway, if you'd like to see more of us, you can by going to www.thebohogranny.com or we are on Facebook. That is www.facebook.com forward slash the Boho Granny. Or you can follow us on Twitter at the Boho Granny. We love getting snail mail. So if you'd like to send us some of that, you can do that with the Boho Granny or the Boho Baby. Care of Alyssa Diamante. That's me. P.O. Box 24 in Edwards, Mississippi. 39066. And as always, if you send us a self-addressed stamped envelope, we will write you back. It might take a little bit, but you'll get it. Okay. Until then, I hope to see y'all down the road.